I just, I don't know what to do, Doc. I, I'm just never happy. Well, why don't you start from the beginning? Well, it all started when my dad told me I was born a woman Shh, and- sh shut up, shut up. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that still does product testing on animals. For those of you watching this video that are old enough to drive, you've probably experienced this situation before where you're driving down the road, obeying the speed laws and whatnot, and you look in your rearview mirror and you think, holy shit, that car behind me is really close. Too close. Dangerously close. And now you have a couple options. You could brake check them, you could move over and let them go around you, uh, but you don't want to look like a bitch, so you can't do that. You can't really honk your horn because, I mean, that's going, like, in front of you. I guess you could let them pass and flick them off, but wanna, you want to really say, like, hey, I fucking hate you because, but there's no real way to do that in a car, and that's what I want to fix. There has to be some way to get a specific message to the person behind you to say, hey, you're being a dick, stop what you're doing because you're being a dick. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the power of Arduino and some LEDs. We're going to make a sign uh, and you can put it in the back window of your car. I know what you're thinking. This sounds really cool. How can I do it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. I want to be able to type a message on my phone and have it show up on the LED panel so I can type, hey, motherfucker, quit being an ass. And then it will show up on the back window. And then when he sees it, his car will explode. Now I did some research. And turns out in most states, or if not all states, uh, it is against the law to put uh, LEDs like this in the back window of your car uh, because it's distracting to the drivers and they might crash and hit something. Uh, but for this, uh, I'm going to say to hell with the laws and we're going to stage a glorious revolution against uh, traffic injustice. Uh, and people who So before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, uh, I feel like the atmosphere in here is a little bland, you know, it's boring, uh, it needs something. I think, uh, I think we need some background music, a beat, you know, of some sort, uh, and I know just the guy. My original plan for this project was to take the huge spool of individually addressable LEDs, uh, the same spool that I used in a previous video, the LED music visualizer. Of course I'm talking about the Arduino music visualizer. What else would I be talking? You may remember it, uh, Post Malone was there, um, and I was going to cut that into little segments, and I was going to arrange them in such a way that it would look like a panel of LEDs, uh, but the Arduino would treat it as one single strand and I would have to map out all the LEDs later. But, uh, Adafruit, they sell panels of 8x32 individually addressable LEDs, but I buy all my shit from Amazon. One, because, uh, two, because I like same day shipping. Anyway, so I scraped together all the money I earned from mowing lawns, washing cars, raking leaves, blowing people, and I went ahead and I bought an 8x32 individually addressable LED matrix. And I'm excited to check it out. But you know, after I bought one and I opened it up, I quickly realized this is not enough. I'm gonna need a long, 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 LED matrix to let people really know that I fucking hate them on the road. So I bought a second one. Now when we do this video, I want to make sure I accomplish a couple things, okay? Now, as you may remember in my recent video, uh, where I showed how to make the Arduino LED music visualizer, uh, I appeared a bit inept. With a dangerous combination of some stuff and some things, and it, mm, uh, and I did not explain uh, the process for setting it up in as much detail as I wanted, but that's going to change this time. Okay. That is why I want to spoon feed you as much information on how to do this as possible, so there will be no more questions. Yeah. Now how do I get down? I'm going to be setting this thing up, and I'm going to tell everyone what I'm doing every step of the way. 
So that way, there's no way for anyone to get confused. Okay. So as always with Arduino projects, half the battle is going to be setting up the hardware and programming. So the first thing we're going to do is actually get the hardware components of this set up, and that's going to be the easy part, because the rest of that is actually going to require brain power, and there's not much of that going around here, okay? All right, let's check this thing out. Once you get underneath all these uh, packing tampons, you'll uh, find the main event here. This is the 8x32 LED matrix. Uh, looks like we have three sets of wires on the back. Uh, in the center, it looks like we have an option for a secondary power source. Uh, don't need this bullshit, so I'll probably remove these wires. Over on this end, it looks like the input wires, uh, and it has uh, power, data, and ground. That's the red, green, white. Uh, and then on the opposite end over here, it looks like output wires. So you can definitely chain multiple panels together if you wanted to. Um, and that's what I think I'm going to do. So my plan is to take this set of jumper wires. Uh, we're going to solder this end right here to the Arduino. Uh, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But this end is going to plug into the matrix. All right. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to remove these bullshit uh, extra power source wires. And... Uh, I'm going to do that right now to both of these. So this one doesn't have stupid bullshit on the back, and this one doesn't have stupid bullshit on the back. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the jumper wires that came with the 8x32 LED matrix, and we're going to connect them to a WeMOS D1 Mini. Now the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the red wire on the jumper wires, connect that to 5 volts, we're going to take the white wire, connect that to ground, and we're going to take the green wire and connect that to pin D1. Not only will that allow us to control the LED matrix from the WeMOS D1 Mini, we can power it straight from the ESP8266, and we won't need any of that bullshit external power! All right, now that we have the jumper wires attached to the WeMOS D1 Mini, we can take the 8x32 LED matrix and connect that to the jumper wires, which will then connect that to the WeMOS D1 Mini, and that will connect that to the code, and then we'll be a bunch of cool kids. So you're gonna take the set of input wires from the 8x32 panel, and take the output wires from the WeMOS D1 Mini, and plug them together. Uh, if you mess this part up, Clearly this video isn't for you. All right, so the hardware setup is done. Now I actually have to write some firmware that's gonna go on the WeMOS D1 Mini. The way this is going to work is I'm going to create a Wi-Fi access point that you can connect to with your phone or computer. Once you connect to the access point, I want you to be able to open up your web browser. And if you go to the gateway address of the WeMOS D1 Mini, it'll serve up a web page that will take a uh, text input from the user via scrollable text box and a submit button. Uh, and it will display the message you write in that text box across the LED ticker. And so it should be pretty straightforward to use, and we're going to do that now. I'm going to put together a web page, and I'm going to put together the rest of the code, and we're going to actually put it all together and use it, and see if everything works, and if I wasn't a total shit stain. Now for this project, I've never done anything like this, at least with a matrix of LEDs. I expect there to be a lot of programming logic, uh, stuff that's going to be hard to figure out. You know, I'm going to have to map out these LEDs, figure out uh, X, Y coordinates based on number of LED in the string. It seems like it might be kind of complicated, but I mean, I'm probably overthinking it. Oh, shit. Uh, it looks like Adafruit actually makes a library for the LED matrix that I guess you can just uh, type up a string and it will show it on the matrix. Huh. So, um... Yeah, this is going to be really easy.
Now that I've finished writing the code and I've finished all the hardware setup and everything like that, we're going to actually flash it to the Wiimos D1 Mini. And the way we're actually gonna get this code to work on the Wiimos D1 Mini is first, we have to install the Adafruit NeoPixel and NeoMatrix libraries on Arduino. To do that, go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and you're going to search for NeoPixel. You only want two things. It's going to be the Adafruit NeoPixel library and the Adafruit NeoMatrix libraries. You want to click on one at a time and install. Once those have finished installing, click on the Tools drop-down under Boards. Scroll down until you see Wemos D1 Mini. Go back to Tools, move your mouse over Port, and select the COM port connecting your Wemos D1 Mini to your computer. Go to the link I left in the description and copy the code you see on the screen. You're going to paste that into the Arduino IDE, and you're going to hit Upload. Congratulations on a job well done. You programmed an Arduino or a Wemos D1 Mini. You did some soldering and you plugged some shit in and, and you made me happy. Congratulations. When your parents get home from work, tell them what, what a good job you did. But now uh, we got to figure out some way to put it in the back window of our vehicles, right? Uh, and so we need to go to Michael's or some shit or Home Depot and we're going to put together some sort of uh, art project. So get ready for arts and crafts with So I'm not sure if you notice, but if you take the LED panels and you swing them around, it's kind of like picking up a newborn baby and flailing it by its arms and legs. It just kind of flops everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, plastic Velcro pieces, stick one end on the back of the 8x32 LED panel, and then stick the other end on some foam core poster board. The poster board will be rigid enough to make sure the LED panel doesn't flex and it will stay uh, nice and straight, but it will also be low profile enough where it shouldn't take up any more space than what it already does. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the foam core poster board, place the Velcro pieces, uh, stick it all together, and we're gonna see uh, how this thing works. So now, truly, we are actually done, finished, finished with the hardware and the firmware. Uh, and I gotta say, this thing turned out uh, pretty cool. It's pretty sturdy and rigid now, uh, so it's kind of like flailing around a slightly stronger baby. So we're gonna put this in the back window of a car, uh, and we're going to actually get this thing to work. It should be great. <laughs> So to actually use the ticker, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm doing this from a computer right now, but this can be done from a phone. All you would have to do to start using this, the Wemos D1 Mini is actually going to create its own access point called ticker. And you'll see that right here. If you connect to it, 
you can go to the default gateway address in your web browser. And of course, this can be done from a phone if, you're, if you want to use Safari on an iPhone or the Google Chrome browser on Android. You can go to HTTP 192.168.4.1. So once you get to the actual web page, in this text box here, you can type in any message you want, like this one right here. Once you've typed in the message, you can click the apply button and it will immediately show it on the LED ticker. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, smash the shit out of that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have no idea what the notification bell does. Uh, definitely doesn't give you tacos like my favorite kind of bell. Make sure to join me next time when I finger a phalange.